So the next thing is um, damp proof membrane. There is something that is like leather that they call damp proof membrane. All this is just to protect the foundation of the building to avoid crack in the future. Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel once again. Thank you for coming back again and again and again because i know that so many of you keep coming and for those who just yes my baby is saying thank you to you <laughs> for those who is just joining us for the first time today you're highly welcome please subscribe to our channel here we discuss about building yeah we are here to encourage people to build their own home and how they should go about it and um one thing I, I don't used to tell you guys is this. If you need a supervisor, someone you, that, that will not connive with your workers, if you need a supervisor to supervise your project for you, you can as well chat me up. And I will give you one. If you need an engineer, if you need a contractor, you can as well chat me up. And I will do that. Yes, my baby is confirming it. <laughs> So, if you want us to help you supervise your work, your project, or even build your house for you, you can as well chat me or call me. I will gladly do that for you. And for those of you who have entrusted your work to me, I am highly, 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 highly happy and appreciate it. Thank you for trusting me. And for those of you who doesn't know me, because some of you don't know me, my name is Fina Adinakachi. Yes, that is my name. I'm an Igbo girl from Enugu State, but I built in Ilori Kwara State, and I sell plumbing materials. Yes, I'm still into building as well. I sell plumbing materials, and that is how I got to know much about building, and I just built, I built my plaza last year and during the building, yes, let me brief you guys what you need to know. During the building, the first engineer that wanted to handle the project, oh my God, the engineer wanted to cut off my head. That is just the simple truth. I didn't like that experience at all. And that was how I got to know that this is what they do. And I said to myself, no, I am going to help others to escape these people because it's like they are everywhere. And that is the reason why I opened this channel to help you, my brothers and sisters, not to pass through what I nearly passed through. Okay. So today we, so our video today is a continuation of yesterday's video. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, please go and watch it before joining today on because that will help you know the cost we have estimated so far. And the video is all about the cost of building a five bedroom duplex in Nigeria. And we are working with Lagos price, the present price of building materials in Lagos. So please go and watch it before we continue this today's video i would like you to do me a favor by subscribing if you haven't and sharing the video share the video to your family and well wishers you know your social media pages i keep begging for you to share this video because i need view yes and i want many people to be helped uh -huh, through this video and also Please leave me a comment. If there's anything you want me to do for you concerning building in Nigeria, please leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to click on the like button. Give me thumbs up if you like this that we are doing here. So let's continue from DPC to roofing level. That is our video for today. Starting from the um, beam. In the DPC, starting from the ground floor, Starting from the DPC, the beam will be needing like uh, 50 bags of cement. We said, for those that didn't watch yesterday on, we said that cement is sold at 3200 and 2900 at the uh, um, Dangote Depot in Lagos. So, if you can make our time to go and get the cement from Depot, good for you. But if you can't, it's sold in the market at 3,200 Naira. And this 50 will be totally like 160,000. 
Then we'll be needing some um, tons of stone dust. At this stage, you'll be needing some tons of stone dust or sharp sand, depending on whichever one you want to use. Also, we'll be needing granite, and uh, we'll go for okay. This stone dust is sold at three thousand naira per ton. So this I will be needing like um, fifteen, ten to fifteen tons here. So and the the next one is granite. We'll be needing as well like ten to fifteen tons of granite. But I calculated twenty five tons here because we will still be needing it as time goes on, and. Um, the the uh, truck for twenty five tons is is two hundred and twenty thousand naira. Then labor here I calculated thirty thousand. Don't forget I said I am adding labor here because we want to know the real um estimate we should go for when building five bedroom duplex in Lagos or in Nigeria because even in Iloria it's too well to cut costs it will be lesser mm. it will be lesser because materials here are lesser are cheaper than that of lagos um then uh, again we'll be needing one by 12 plank like 100 uh two by three plank. remember one by 12 is sold at one two two by three is sold at 500 lagos price please Two by two also you saw that two hundred will be needing it here as well. Then um we needing nails. We needing nails here. And labor here I added fifty thousand naira. Fifty thousand for labor. That is for carpenter. Then the rod will be needing is ten mm rod, like ten um ten um, fifteen to twenty length. We'll be needing 16 mm rod or 20 mm, depending, depending on how your column is. So we'll be needing 16 or 20 mm rod, like 10 length as well. Labor, I added 20,000 for labor. Then for lintel, casting of lintel, we'll be needing like 20 bags of cement. You already know the price. 10 tons of dust, it might not be up to, it might be more, depending on how big or small your building is. We'll be needing uh, some granite as well. And labor here, ah. I, I put uh, 10,000 naira. 10,000 for the iron, sorry, for the brick layer. I put 10,000 naira. This is for this stage. Then for lintel also, you'll be needing some planks. Guys, I am calculating planks here as needed, but you mustn't buy in every stage because planks can be reused. If you have gotten from the foundation stage, you can still use that in your lintel level or your for your beam. Okay, so if you have if it didn't bend, if the plank is still okay, they can reuse it. Though I am calculating it down. So if you are reusing or maybe you hired, you know, I keep telling you that if there is any building close to you that they just finished building, as they have their planks down, you can go to them, buy from them at a cheaper rate or hire from them. And there are some people who are doing the business of hiring. Those who buy from people building, they hire it out. You can go hire like this one by two that is being sold at one, two. You can hire it with 500 Naira. You are, you are saving 700. Planks, after using, you remove them. You know? So it can be hired to save cost. It can be uh, you can go for second hand, yes. You can go for second hand, already used one, to save cost as well. It's just for them to knock it there and cast what they want to cast and remove it. So for later, you will as well be needing some planks and no, you'll be needing one by 12, two by three, and some two by two. Some used only two by three anyway. Then, uh, then labor, I added 10,000. Then in the lintel level as well, you'll be needing some rods. You'll be needing 10 mm, 20 mm, 
um, some will use 25 mm. So it depends on what you want and your engineer who is giving you what you want. Then binding wire. Don't forget that there is no bind, no no binding wire, no rod, because that is what they use to hold the rods together. Then um, workmanship. I put thirty thousand to forty thousand. It depends. Then now we are going to block work from ground floor to the first level. Don't forget that is where we are now. Blocks, you should be needing like 7,000 to 8,000 blocks. Nine inches. We are working with nine inches. Yeah? Sorry. We are working with nine inches here. Yeah. So, and nine inches is sold at 200 Naira. In Lagos now with delivery, but I keep saying it that the delivery depends on where you are going to, to where my customer is. So if you are building, you should know you can as well go to a block seller close to your site. But this is what they are selling it in Lagos: two hundred naira per one nine inches block and eight six inches. In case you need six inches in any way, it sold at one hundred and eighty naira. Calculating with this 8,000 blocks is like a million point six naira. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. See, uh, blocks also consumes money a lot in building. So I know that is building. You'll be needing some tons of shocking sand because shocking sand is what you use to hold your blocks together with cement and water. Guys, remember, I am not adding water because I believe there should be source of water already. I keep saying it before you start building. Make sure you have source of water because it's very, very essential. No water, no building. That is my slogan. No water, no building. So make sure there is source of water in your site because you will need it all the way from beginning to the end except roofing. Then uh, workmanship here, I put 60,000 by the bricklayer. Here we are having like, only for this block work, we are having like two point something, no? enough money. Because the cement, we are looking at 100 bags of cement. Uh, then uh, 45 uh, tons of shocking sand. Yeah. Yes, these are what we need here. What I'm going to put, I'm just going to put some money for water at the end. So I'm not adding it in each stage. Then after putting up of blocks, you will need, um, the next stage is lintel, estimate for lintel again. Here you'll be needing nails and planks as well. I am not calculating planks because you should have enough planks already in the site to make use of. So I didn't calculate planks here. Labor 10,000 Naira. Then rods needed for lintel. You'll be needing 20, um, 10 mm. You'll be needing 12 mm. And the binding wire as well. Labor here, I equally calculated 10,000 Naira. Then... Here we are, we are now at the decking stage. So estimates for the cost of that decking stage here, we are looking at, and um, my engineer said, the thickness of the decking should at least be six inches for safety reason. That is 150 mm, six inches. So we are looking at um, 120 to 150 bags of cement for dust um some sharp sand as well maybe like um let's say 20 to 25 tons of sharp sand but i calculated 30 tons you know 15 tons cost seventy five thousand. so i just doubled it if it's remaining you will still use it as time go on so it will not be a waste then uh, granite, I calculated with five tons of granite. We might use it all, we might not use it, but you will still use it. 
as time goes on. Though. So once you are starting your building, don't say, ah, sand is too much, granite is too much. It's not too much. Oh. You can only minimize what you buy during the ending of it because you will keep needing it from foundation to the last, to the parapet. You will need granite and sharp sand and cement. These three items are always needed. Then you'll be needing like 100 lengths of bamboo. Bamboo is sold at 400 in Lagos. And the slim ones are sold at 300. But I advise you go for the thick and hectic ones, you know, and heavy ones to protect your building as needed. Hey, this is my baby. Oh. Then again, you'll be needing planks, 1 by 12 planks again. You will keep needing it. 1 by 12 is essential also. From foundation, you'll be needing it. And also 2 by 3. 2 by 3, you will need it till roofing. You will still need it during roofing. And some, um, you'll be needing like one, 150 length of 1 by 12. It might not be up to, depending. It might be more, depending. And uh, like 100 length of 2 by 3. And some few lengths of two by two, if at all you need it. Some people don't use it anyway, but I'm just adding it in case. Then you'll be needing some sizes of nails as well. So you will need some sizes of nails that will be used by the carpenter, like four inches, three inches, and all that. Labor here, I put 50,000. Then the rods that you'll be needing is 16 mm. I, I calculated one ton. Then 10 mm. I calculated one ton as well. It might not use up to that, but you will still need it. So I just calculated one ton here. 12 mm, I calculated two tons. Then binding wire. Remember that in Lagos, one ton of 16 mm rod is sold at 250,000. Why one ton of 10 mm rod is sold at 260 and uh, 12 mm rod is sold per ton is sold at 250 as well. And the uh, 16 mm for those that don't know and have not watched the video where I gave how many lengths is a ton 16 mm is 53 lengths because uh, someone was telling me that. He went to buy per ton and they gave him 52 lengths. No, it's not 52. They just took one out of yours. It's 53 lengths that makes a ton of 16 mm. 12 mm is 94. 94, not 93. They were just taking one, one, one from that guy. He said, he said it's 93. It's not 93. It's 94 lengths. And um, 10 mm is 135 lengths that makes a ton. Okay, you should get that because it's very, very necessary. All these uh, minor, minor things is the way they used to cheat people. That is the way they, that is where they normally remove something from you. So, label here, I put 50,000. Then, working on the staircase. Normally, when I'm talking about decking, I don't put staircase differently. I normally add them together. Actually, even from the material, I I added all the cement, sharps, and granite. I know it was over. So we can use the remaining one for this staircase. But I just staged everything differently so that you will know that in this stage, some things will be needed as well. In the staircase, I put cement, sharp sand, granite. All those things are what you'll be needing. And labor, 5,000. It might not even be up to 5,000. One person can do it. I yeah, it's two persons. Anyway, that is, just, that is why I just put 5,000. Because a day job is 2,500, 3,000. It's some collect 3,500 as well. Depending on your area. Oh, uh, depending on your area. Then um, planks. We will probably be needing... 1 by 12 planks for staircase, 2 by 3 also, and some 2 by 2 for those using it, and nails as well. Actually, I didn't, cal I didn't calculate this. I only calculated nails because I know that by now you have um, planks to use for your staircase, for casting of your staircase. So nails I calculated just like half half bags. They might not use up to that, though it depends on how 
big, long. Your staircase is because mine might be just a uh, small thing. Yours might be big. So it depends on the size of the building as well. There's a way it will be. They will use up to half, half as I calculated. Then labor for that 5,000. Then rods, you equally be needing like 12 mm rod um, for staircase and binding wire. I did not equally calculate that because we have excess from the last one I calculated. I only put the workmanship 5,000 as well. And uh, now we are now in parapet because after decking, uh, you will see. Oh, hey, I remember something, please. You know, when I was talking about uh, blocks, erecting of the building, putting up of blocks, I said from ground floor to first floor. I hope you guys took notice. Of, and that is why I calculated 7,000 to 8,000 blocks. It's not just from for the ground floor to decking level, no. Because I know some people will be like, after decking, is in our parapet. I've, I've calculated them together. Hey. The blocks, yeah. the cement. Yeah, uh -huh. That's why I said 100 bags of cement for that. The shocking sand I used 45 tons. It's together from ground floor to the first floor. We are talking about duplex here, okay? So I'm not going to talk about blocks again now. That I'm done with staircase and decking. I'm going straight to parapet. I hope you guys are clear here. So parapet, you'll be needing cement, like 40 bags. It might not be up to, it might be more. Parapet also consumes cement. You know, it's casting. It consumes cement. You'll be needing like 16 mm rod. I didn't calculate it because I, we bought foot on the other time. It might be having just like 8 to 10 lengths or so, not much. You'll be needing 12 mm as, as well, one ton. You'll be needing, I calculated one ton here. You might not use all, but I calculated one ton. You'll be needing um, 10 mm as well. You'll be needing 8 mm. And uh, so, um, you, that is for the beam. You know, in this place, I didn't talk about the beam separately. So I'm joined. That's why the 12 mm is up to a ton. I calculated up to a ton. It's not just for the parapet. It's the beam and the parapet together. So you also be needing a quarter rod, like a 20 to 30 length. So you also be needing um six by six rings, like five dozens. I calculated five dozens here, so that 400. Then binding wire. You will equally be needing this one by 12 plank. For coving, you'll be needing it. You'll be needing some length of 1 by 12 planks. Then uh, you'll be needing some uh, board, cardboard. Is it cardboard they call it? Yes, I guess. There are nails. You'll be needing nails too. These are what you'll be needing for, for parapet and beam. Parapet and beam. Totaling this... From foundation to, let me go to where I did my total. From foundation to uh, parapet, parapet level alone is, I mean, sorry, from DPC. Okay, sorry. From foundation to DPC, we had 3.5 to 4.5. Actually, I stopped at um, 4 million here. I calculated 4 million. Then DPC to parapet, we are having like 6.8, right? Am I correct? No. DPC to parapet, yes, is a 6.8 900. So let's just say uh, 6.9 million naira. Yes, that is what we are having. Actually, we are approximating it to have a, you know, a, a rhyme figure. So adding up the foundation to DPC and the DPC to parapet. Okay, let's just say um, from foundation to parapet. 
we are having like like uh, 10.9 million remember that foundation to dpc is four i'm calculating it might be more it might be less then uh, dpc to parapet 6.9 guys that foundation to dpc might be very very less if you are not if you will not slab i mean uh, use a iron rod and cast the uh, DPC level, it will be cheaper. You know how we calculated. If you did not watch that video, please go and watch it so that you get to know where we got up to four million from. You know, then supervision. You know, we have to put the money for that because we are we are going to put out all the things we need and that's building we are going to estimate it, you know, to know the exact amount or at least to close range of what we are looking at mm, supervision i put four hundred thousand. this four hundred thousand depends so so it depends on you and the person's agreement but i just calculated four hundred thousand for conduit work that is for um piping of electricity electrical stuff and uh, plumbing I put 400 as well for both first floor and the ground floor. I put 400 because all this has to be done before decking because they are conduits. Nowadays, they don't do visible one. They don't do external work anymore. So again, for transportation, remember you have to transport the materials you are using. You will transport iron rods. You will transport your cement. You will transport your planks. All those things you have to try. I think it's only sand and um, granite that they and blocks that they charge together with the delivery. But other ones, you will be the one to transport it by yourself. So transportation from foundation to parapet are calculated like three hundred k. This might not be up to that if you buy in bulk. But buying in bulk as well have its own negative side. Because if that place is not secured, if nobody is there guiding it and it's an open place, you drop iron rod especially, they will steal it all. So if you know that it's not secured, be buying as they need. Be bringing it as they need for safety reasons. But if you know that your site is well secured and you have the money, it's better you go get the the rods, the materials in bulk and drop. But don't buy much cement like that or at once. If you know that you are not going to face that project continuously. If you know you are going to spend time, as in you will do one this week, do another one in the next uh, 18 weeks. Don't go and buy in bulk because they must spoil. So I just calculated that. Then revenue and our money lay. Those people, you will put their money down. You will pay them during foundation and you will pay them during decking. Even while fencing, the, the local government revenue must still come. So I just calculated 300 anyway. Then water, I calculated 150. It might not be up to. And if you have borehole or well already, this one is not for you. But I calculated it as well. So when you total all this, remember feeding. Yes, thank God I remember this. Feeding money. You should have it in mind. Some workers charge together with feeding money. Caring. Some will tell you it's caring money. Some workers charge together, some don't. They will tell you you'll be giving them uh, to 200 naira each every day. Depending on how many laborers that or workers that are in your site. So it depends on your agreement with them. But just put it in mind that this one is another expense on its own. I might not remember everything, no, but if you remember, that is why I say if you're an engineer or a contractor or you have built your own house already, have some experience, share it with us here because we are here to help ourselves. Share it with us so that we can get to know the things we'll be needing while building our home. That is what this channel is all about. 
So calculating actually feeding money here, I calculated a hundred K transportation 200 so adding up all these expenses we are looking at 12.450 12.450 or let's say approximately 12.5 million naira this video is long enough i'm going to stop here and tomorrow we are going to finish it up we'll talk about the roofing but from foundation to parapet level right now we are having 12.5 ah oh, it's not much it's not much it's much but it's not much it's much but it's not much why i'm saying it's not much is because some people will spend like 20 million naira for those stages alone you know for this stage and that might, not even, that might end up not using some quality materials for them but this i am giving you with quality materials this is just a rough estimate please have that in your mind it's just a rough estimate but i tell you that no matter how expensive things may be in your side because some people might be selling materials higher than what i am calling here but no matter how expensive it might be in your own place it will not be more than 13 million naira Yes, that is what I'm telling you. This estimate was estimate was given to me by a qualified engineer, you know. So I, I believe he knows what he's doing. And I'm just here to pass it out to you and help you and kill that fear that it must be a billionaire before you can build your own home. You must have millions of naira before you can start something. That is why I'm breaking it in stages for you. Even if it's just foundation to DPC, go for it first. You know, it's something. When money come again, you continue from where you stopped. And that is why I'm always telling you that when reaching agreement with your engineer, your contractor, break them in stages to avoid issues because money itself in our hala so avoid issues break them in stage so that whichever stage stage you stop you will pay him for that and anyone you are starting again with you clear that for, with him so this is where we are today don't forget to share the video if you haven't shared it share it in all your social media pages for me let people get to get to know about this channel to help them, help your friends and well-wishers also, because I'm here to help us, including myself. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your time and your support towards this channel. May God bless you always. You're one and only girl. Bye.